What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Constan, and we are back at it, reviewing another pro matchup. Today, we have a matchup between Zest and Stats. Stats is his first appearance on the channel. There will be many more appearances to come, as he is one of the best Protosses to have ever played the game. I would probably rank him, well... He was my favorite Protoss up until like one year ago. He really tapered off. I mean, he's still really good. It's just that I don't know. I don't know if it's because he's not, I don't know if it's because he's not trying enough because of the military or if he's just trying a lot and people are just too good or his strategy isn't working, but he used to be really good. He still is. But his nickname is the Shield of Ire. All right. So I mean, He's the best defensive Protoss. He's always very standard. He rarely plays cheese, which kind of hurts his chances of winning because I feel like you need to be diverse in how you play and you just have multiple strategies. But hey, he's a pro player. I'm not. But anyways, you guys know Zest. He's no guest on the channel. Double gateway coming out of both players in the beginning of the game. PvP is usually very aggressive. So you always usually want to go double gateway first and you usually never go nexus first because that's how you die because someone will just all in you then. But I wonder what strategies they're going to go for. It's usually it's always a weird dynamic because it means one person usually goes robo or one person goes like DTs. It's just people throw a lot of builds. I'm surprised there's no proxies. PvP is usually proxy land because there's always some sort of proxies going down on both places. But let's see what tech is going to come out of stats. He's usually safe. What, maybe like a Twilight or a Robo or something? Zest, Zest takes more chances. But, oh, yep. Robo is coming out of stats. He wants to go for that solid immortal production. Which will help him get a lead. Double Stalkers versus Double Adepts. This is also a very, very weird matchup. Because Adepts can always, they will always lose to Stalkers in a straight up battle. But they can always shade in and try to get through. But this is why this probe is here for Zest. That's such a cute little play. Because you, all you do is you just pile on it. Or not pile on it. Sorry. You put a pile on down as soon as the shade tries to come down. Because you can instantly block the adept transfer in. But a little skirmish here. Probe on probe action. Let's see who's going to win. Who's going to win? Who's going to win? I got my money on red. We already got the first shot off. Sorry. Before I got distracted. Anyways, here come the two adepts in. Let's see what they can do. Or if they can even do anything. But it does look like, oh, Stargate was built and an Oracle is on the way for Zest. Adepts having a little skirmish with the two stalkers here. You're not going to win that battle of stats. You want to run. Yep. See, so he's trying to uh, bait out the one with more health so he can run away with the other Adept. But Immortal Production is on the way for stats. I feel like Immortals will always win in PvP because PvP is mostly Stalker heavy. And Zest is going for a Twilight Console, which usually says he's going to go for Blink. Because, I mean, PvP is just Blink Stalkers versus Blink Stalkers until someone techs up. Warpism is also on the way for stats. He's also taking his natural now. Both players are taking their natural now. But it looks like stats wants to put him to pressure if he's building a Warpism that early. Shield Battery is coming down inside of the main base but let's see what the oracle can get done come on oracle let's see if you can shine let's see if you can get anything done oh no pro pill no pro pull by stats already three probes have been taken down but it looks like that will be all the oracle will flee with all of his life and a little bit of shields taken off which will regenerate over time but maybe he can intercept it no he can't is that's gonna make another die for it he has enough energy there is a shield battery here, so I don't know how much damage he is going to get done. But it does look like Stats is pushing out in the middle of the map. Yeah, Zest realizes it. I think he's just going to stay. Oh, he's just going to patrol over it. But Zest immediately cancels his Nexus when he sees the push coming out from Stats. I mean, Stats has a very dangerous army. With one Immortal already having three sentries, he can easily force fuel these Stalkers out when they try to push on that ramp. Blink is also not done for Zest. Zest is building gateways. I think he just... I don't know what he's going to do here. I mean, 
with the Immortal, the Immortal was so potent in this matchup that, I mean, the Stalkers will do absolutely nothing. He's going to try to shade the Adepts in as well. Maybe they can start picking off some probes over there. He's going to finish it? Yeah, he's going to finish it. This should draw the army out a little bit more. I gotta be oh, nice pick up there by Stats. Nice little play. Four probes have been taken down and a, a gateway is going to be picked off. Yes, it is. And Stats just backs up and he recalls home. Such a smart play by Stats. I mean, he's up seven workers. He has a natural base. And I mean, this Oracle is still trying to do whatever he can, but with this shield battery there, I don't think it's going to get done much. Zest, now, he, he needs to push up. He needs to kill his stats right now. He has a whole base ahead. I don't think... What is he going to do? Stats has... He stats already has an Immortal as well. I mean, what can Zest do with a few Blink Stalkers? Let's see. Oh, double Immortal, my bad. Any nice pick up there by Stats. Immortal are just gunning down all of those Stalkers. Nice... Nice pickup micro by stats. Two mortals and a dream. Well, you don't need a dream when you have that much of a lead. Nine army supply and six workers. Plus, he is a base up. Zest is taking his natural, but GG is called. Good game. Stats. See, I'm telling you, stats, he's really good when he tries. I feel like when he doesn't try, when he doesn't practice, he really does not do well. But anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like what you saw like, leave, leave a like, sorry, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.